just relax go slow there's no need to hurry for there are no monsters chasing you I have a question actually um, I started studying the course a little over a year ago and initially had a, probably a similar experience to a lot of people where I was actually here and Kristen had to go out somewhere but she said oh you should just you know hang out here for a couple of hours I had a few hours in between something and she had mentioned the course before and there was the, the book was lying around and you know how it sort of was saying pick me up and so I did and I was just like wow you know I really I it was just instantly you know and so I started studying the course and initially after I think I was on like the second day of uh, a bit, and I had lunch with my friend, and she said, so how are you? And I said, oh, I feel completely crazy. It just, you know, all, it just felt like everything just got sort of blown open. And it was really great. And then for, after a while, as I progressed through it, I was about halfway through, and um, I, I realized that I was approaching it in this very dutiful kind of way. Like, I have kind of this overachiever streak, I always have, and so, I think I was approaching it in kind of a spiritual overachiever kind of thing. And it wasn't until I went away for the summer and I was at a meditation retreat, um, which had sort of a different orientation, and um, that I realized that my approach to the whole thing was sort of very aspirational. Like, I want to feel peace, so I feel peace, I feel peace, I feel peace, you know. And um, with, with, I think with the best of intentions, but with some lack of acknowledgement of my own just sort of just where where I was kind of mm -hmm. um, and where I was in my relationship with my own ego and and everything and so I sort of took a break from it and um, I, I still find I, I find that the teaching was very compelling and I would like to go back into it but I guess what I I my question is about finding the balance between being gentle and saying I want to forgive this person. I'm, you asked about, you mentioned forgiving your mother, and that was the person who keeps coming up for me as the most difficult person, most difficult relationship to let go of, potentially, or to forgive. And um, I want to do that, but at the same time, I want to be gentle with myself about how what that process will be like. Um, so how to balance those two things are my highest goals for what, for, I guess my own uh, uh, clarity, but also acknowledgement of where I really am at the moment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just saw a great movie for that, Kung Fu Panda 2. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we saw the first one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, then now is going to go to his teacher who's going to say, you've done very well, and he did very well, number one, he really was amazing. But now you have to find inner peace, and he's an inner peace, inner peace, inner peace, inner peace. He yeah, took yeah, his yeah, yeah, yeah. achiever, really go, but really go. Go. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He, yeah. And and but, but the best thing about Poe is he's so transparent. He's got a big willingness. He will jump in to things, and and he will seem to fail or seem to look bad or all those kind of things. And he, he verbalizes it, even with all of his mighty companions around him. Um, and, and even sometimes where, where yeah, he, the, the tiger even has to, the character that essentially Julie has to kind of confront him in a very direct way. You know, he's so open and transparent. And I think that's the thing. When people work with the Course and they're trying to be dutiful and get the lessons right and do it just perfect, the perfectionism uh, of this ego drive that it uses with everything in the world. It just tries to be the best at everything. It's going to be the best course student, the fastest inner peace achiever. <laughs> the Academy Award this year for the fastest inner peace achiever goes to, you know, it's Nora. And, and, but it's, it's in there. But that's what I felt at the very beginning. I, I Very early on, I, I got the course and I read it eight hours a day. 
and I couldn't do it consecutively eight hours because of the eyelids would just come down. The resistance would be so enormous to something so direct. But that was my first lesson was to be gentle. Was to, I mean, there was even one point where I was just started off with the book and I was using it like I Ching and I would just pray with my question and I would pop the book open and get my answers. So I wasn't reading it like people read books even. I was using it more like I Ching. And then at one point I really hit a day of really strong resistance and I was like, oh, oh. And I, but I still stayed with my method and I went, ah, so frustrated. I was pushing myself so hard and I popped it open and it said, when you find, I looked at the page and said, when you find resistance high and dedication weak, you are not ready. Do not fight yourself. I went, oh my God, a book that tells you to put it down. <laughs> That's, you know, some people are concerned about books that tell you this is the only way to God. And there's only one way to God. You better not, you know, then you're like, you're protecting it. This, but this was like, I was like, oh my God, that's, that's an amazing answer to that kind of resistance. That was an amazing answer. And then, I, that taught me to just, with that, to be gentle. You know, to, when the eyelids would get heavy, take a nap, go for a swim, take a walk, have a snack, call a friend. You know, not to become like a scholar. We know what happened with the Bible with the, the scribes and the Pharisees. You know, Jesus really had a lot to say to the scribes and the Pharisees, the overachievers, the Torah, the Torah, everything, the letter of the law. Everything's got to be down to the letter of the law, rigid, harsh letter of the law. And he's like, no, no, it's, it's not the letter, you know, it's not the letter. It's, it's, there's a presence here. If his softness, his friendliness, his gentleness was teaching. That's that. So I did that. That's how I could read it for eight hours a day, not consecutively, because I was that gentle. And I used it for a long time, like the night chain, but I was, became so interested in what I, I would get my initial answer. That'd be like, I'd keep going. So I probably read the book many different times, but not mm -hmm. chronologically. Mm -hmm. But it's good because it's symphonic. It's, mm -hmm. it's 31 chapters <coughs> saying the same thing. Did you get it? Okay, let's try this angle. Did you get Okay, let's try this. You know, it's always saying it in, in a way that's beautifully designed to kind of have you have an experience. So, that, that's how it worked for me. I mean, everyone has their own ways with it. But, but to me, you know, I, I wasn't trying to like put it under my pillow and get it through osmosis or, you know, whatever. I was, it was like a companion, but I had to be super gentle with myself. Otherwise, I felt like like the ego is misusing it, it's like, like a crutch or something like, like something was forced, it was, I was being forced to do and I, I didn't want to force it because I knew I would feel a sense of coercion. If I believed that even the course, the book, was somehow being thrust down my throat, that I would feel a sense of coercion with it and I didn't want that. I kind of knew that would send me in the wrong direction with it, in a, in a, in a negative way. So I, I really I nurtured it. Yeah. Thank you. We've got that Shanti song, Be Gentle With Yourself. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we have it. Mm -hmm. Be gentle with yourself. Mm -hmm. The jungle mm -hmm. seems to roar. We've all been there before. Inside we're all the same. There's a light that tries to shine out in everything we say and do. Outside it's just a game. The rules we sometimes play by. Don't let the light shine through. Let the light shine through. <laughs> I'll keep that with the song before you. <laughs> <laughs> some, some lady just wrote on Facebook, Oh, David's coming to Boston and you've got to get him to burst into songs. <laughs> it's, it's a must experience, you have must. <laughs> it just happens. It just I would like to hear Shanti. Shanti's, oh, Shanti's voice is just out of this world. She, it's ethereal. It's uh, angelic. <laughs> Legion.
Sometimes we make mistakes. Be gentle with yourself. Don't kick yourself around. Should you fall to the ground? <laughs> Be gentle with yourself. Just get back into stride. Touch the you inside.